Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby and I love macrame, DIY home decor, and a good thrift find. Today we're going to be doing our guest bedroom makeover. Here's a look at the room before. This room has kind of become a catch-all room, but I wanted to make it not just a great guest room, but also a room I can get ready in because our bedroom doesn't have space for my full-length mirror. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear out this room and get it ready to paint. I'm of course going to clean off the walls and then fill in any holes where the old curtain rods were. For this room, I'm again using Graphic Charcoal by Bear. I'm actually using leftover paint from the accent wall in our master bedroom. Because this room was so small, I knew I could get it fully covered with just a little over half a gallon of paint. So here it is after one full first coat, and then the next day I went over it again with a second coat. And you may notice that I did tape out the window, but I actually prefer trimming just freehand as I kind of think I do better than the tape. Once all the painting was done in the room, I then took our old curtain rods from our bedroom and spray painted them black. Again, just swapping things out from room to room to really make what you have work. I then hung these white sheer curtains and then made the bed with this white comforter set that I got from Amazon just to really brighten up the room with such dark walls. I then rolled out these runners, again another Amazon find, but I didn't want to waste money on a larger rug just because this room is so small. I then brought back in this full length mirror. And then for my little getting ready corner, I decided to use the same shelves I used in our master bedroom, but I wanted to add these wooden beads, so I went ahead and stained them the same mahogany stain, and that way I can hang necklaces from them. And then of course I hot glued each bead onto each one of the shelves. So I actually hung these the same way I did in our master bedroom, so again, diagonal with the curve of the ceiling. And then I really just wanted to decorate with a few items and then also some accessories. So I just used a lot of stuff that I had around the house already that I didn't really have a place for, including this cute little ceramic jar that I keep my buttons in. And then I wanted to DIY a couple things, so I went ahead and made this scrunchie holder. So for this, I actually used these wooden dowels from the dollar store. I just took one and stained it in an early American stain. I also used this round piece of floral foam from the dollar store and I just measured out to find the center and then I went ahead and stuck the wooden dowel in there and then this foam was kind of large for the shelf so I went ahead and took a cup and just cut around to get it the size that I wanted but once that was completely cut out I next took a piece of white felt that I had and I just traced out the circle and then cut that out. And then I went ahead and hot glued it down to the bottom of the foam. This way this piece would have a nice soft surface at the bottom. And once that was on, I used some spackling on top of the foam to make it look like a ceramic piece. So I just did several layers of this, really smoothing it out, but still leaving some texture. And then once that was completely dry, I went ahead and painted with this creamy colored paint. And it really makes it look like a ceramic piece. So I just love the way that this turned out and how it looks styled on the shelf. So I actually already had this little cactus ring holder, but I wanted to make another tray for earrings. So I went ahead and used the polymer clay that I had left over from this wall hanging. And actually, if you check out my Instagram at Mrs. Scrib, you'll see a bunch of mini DIYs in my IGTV. This tray is actually pretty self-explanatory. All I did was roll it out to get a nice round piece, and then I went ahead and took the clay and I laid it on the bottom of this cup to give it that nice rounded tray shape. And once I was done with that, I just smoothed out the edges, and then I actually painted this the same cream color as the scrunchie holder. And then as a little extra, I just did a nice gold trim all around the bottom to kind of match my cactus tray, but this is how it turned out. So once my little getting ready corner was complete, I then hung up this large macrame wall hanging that I had made over the bed, and then I also added this leather poof next to the mirror, as well as some accent pillows on the bed to really add some texture as well as some color to this room. 
and then there was no way I couldn't add some greenery. So I went ahead and repotted the snake plant that I had into a larger pot. That way I could place it on this wooden stand next to the mirror. And then I also had these Aztec style hooks that I'd gotten from TJ's a couple of years ago. So I went ahead and used some tape to mark out exactly where the screws would go and then placed that on the wall where I wanted to hang this and of course leveled it out. And I did this because I'm notoriously bad at hanging things like this. So really using the tape is just an easy way to make sure that you're doing it right. But once those screws are in, you just remove the tape and then of course just hang up your piece. And I really wanted to make sure I had some art to hang above here. So I actually just took some computer paper and used the leftover paint from painting the room. And I just did a couple of designs using a toilet paper roll. And they didn't turn out perfect, but I still feel like it's just kind of some fun, unique art that I made myself that I can just hang up in the room just to add a little extra touch. So I just used some black frames that I already had and then just hung both of these on the wall using some command strips. So again, here's a look at the before. And here is the after. better than our master bedroom makeover so I'm gonna be spending tons of time in here. I hope you guys liked this video too. If you did don't forget to click the like button below and of course don't forget to subscribe for more macrame, DIY, and household projects. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!